the first video. Alright guys, welcome to Bending Ballistics. So what we're going to talk about today is our extreme spread and standard deviation. And we're going to do this at 50 feet per second with two separate loads that I have worked up for two separate rifles. So, these are separate rifles and these are separate calibers. One is going to be a 6mm Dasher and the other one is going to be a 6.5 Creedmoor. 6mm Dasher is running 109 Burger Hybrids and the 6.5 Creedmoor is running 140 Burger Hybrids. So, we have the baseline there that they're both running Burger Hybrids. One's a 6mm Dasher and one's a 6.5 Creedmoor. So, here we go guys. 6mm Dasher running 109 Burger Hybrids is running 2850 feet per second and our base data is going to be 2.42 mils at 500 yards and 7.76 mils at 1,000 yards. Well, now we're going to adjust this at 25 feet per second on the low end, and we're going to see what kind of standard deviation or extreme spread that we have. Well, at 500 yards, it's going to be 2.47 mils, which is a extreme spread and standard deviation of 0 0.05 mils already at 500 yards. Well, at 1,000 yards, it's going to be 7.92 mils, which is a standard deviation of a little less than 0.2 mils on the dasher based on our previous load of 2850 and our new load at 2825, which is going to be 25 feet per second slower than the initial load. Well, now we're going to reverse it. We're going to go 25 feet on the high side. Well, 25 feet on the high side on the 6 millimeter dasher at 500 yards is going to be 2 point three seven mils and then at a thousand yards it's going to be seven point five nine which gives us a standard deviation at 500 yards from our initial base load of 0 0.1 mils higher or 0 0.1 mils lower sorry and then and that's at 500 yards and then at a thousand yards we're going to be 0 0.2 mils lower so 0 0.2 mils can determine if we make a hit or a miss so our extreme spread and our standard deviation is going to be at 500 yards. It's going to be 0.1 mils on average. And then at 1,000 yards, it's going to be 0.33 mils on average based on a 50 foot per second standard deviation or extreme spread. So now we're going to reverse it and we're going to go over to the 6.5 Creedmoor and see what those results are. So this is another load I have worked up for the 6.5 Creedmoor. It's running 26.95 with 140 Burger Hybrids. So it is running about 200 feet per second slower than the six millimeter Dasher. However, we still have shocking results based on this 50 foot per second spread. So our base load on the 6.5 Creedmoor with 140 Burger Hybrids at 500 yards is running 3.2 mils in elevation and then at 1,000 yards, it's running 10.5 mils of elevation. So now we're going to adjust this speed, and we're going to go on the high side first versus the low side first, like we did on the dasher. So on the high side, we're going to run at 500 yards. It's still going to be 3.2, so we don't have any standard deviation there based on our speed being faster. However, at 1,000 yards, we're going to be 10.3 mils, which is going to give us a standard deviation a 0.2 mils less than our initial load. So 0.2 mils at 1,000 yards could determine if we go in the dirt or we go over top. So that's a little bit of our standard deviation if we go 25 feet per second faster. Now we're going to jump down to the low side and see what happens there. And this is where it gets really interesting with the 6.5 Creed. So at 500 yards on the 6.5 Creed run in 26.70 at 500 yards, we're running 3.3, which is 0.1 mils higher than what we need on our initial load and our 25 feet per second on the high side. So we're already 0.1 mils in standard deviation because we loaded 25 feet per second slower than initially. Well, at 1,000 yards, we're going to be 10.7, which is 0.2 mils higher than our initial load, but 0.4 mils higher than our 25 feet per second standard deviation on the high side. So that is definitely a hit or a miss if you load a load at 25 feet per second with a 50 foot, well, at a 
50 foot extreme spread, that is a hit or a miss. No questions asked. That's a hit or a miss at 1,000 yards. And that could determine if you win that match or run a clean match or not. So this is where our load development gets really important, guys. So at a 50 foot per second extreme spread at 500 yards, we're looking at an average of 0.1 mils in difference on the low side. However, on the high side, we're looking at a 0.4 mils of extreme spread on 1,000 yards. Which then again, guys, a 0.4 mils at 1,000 yards could determine a hit or a miss. Well, now we're going to jump into a little bit of a scenario of, let's say we're running a match and we have an extreme spread of 500 or 50 feet per second, but most of our matches are won between 5 and 800 yards. That's where your matches are won. They're not won at the 1,000 yard stage because there's only a couple of them. They're not won at the 1,200 yard stage because there's generally only one. Where your matches are won are between 500 and 800 yards. That's where this standard deviation and your extreme spread comes really into play, guys. So, unless you're running a KYL stage, you might still make impacts with a standard deviation or extreme spread of 50 feet per second. But on a KYL stage, which is a tiebreaker stage, when you're running a target that's about the size of the center of a dinner plate at 500 yards, that extreme spread of 50 feet per second, you're not going to make impacts. You're either going to be high or you're going to be low or you're going to be all over the place and you're going to be chasing it. And you're going to be frustrated and you're going to get mad about it because you're going to be like, what's going on? So that's where our load development gets really, really tricky is when we're trying to hit these super small targets at about 500 yards. But when we look at this data, both the Dasher and the Creedmoor are pretty well equaled out to about the same. However, the Dasher is a little less sensitive with 0.3 mils or 0.33 mils at 1,000 yards, where the Creedmoor has a 0.4 mil of extreme spread at 1,000 yards. So the Dasher is a little less sensitive. However, if we flip this coin and we go to 500 yards, well, the Creedmoor is a lot less sensitive because the Dasher has a larger, well, no, they both have the exact same spread at 500 yards. But where, where we start seeing the major differences out to 1,000, and then if we go out to 1,200, we'll see even more difference. Because our projectile is losing so much momentum as it's getting out to 1,200 yards that we're not going to be able to make it out there with our current holds. So now we're going to have to adjust even more, and we can go over this more at a later time, guys, and I can even cover this in MOA. I run everything in mils, so that's why all this is in mils, because that's what I know very well. However, I can't convert this over to MOA and help you guys understand it better if you want to, but for now we're going to cover it in mils, and we'll go into it more at a later time in MOA if you guys want me to. Now, on to the 250 subscriber giveaway challenge. There's been a couple updates to it. For one, we're going to send it out to the end of March. I understand that some people's area, the weather is crap. So we're going to extend it out to the end of March, give everybody a chance to try to get this done. The second change is going to be, if you have a child that wants to get involved in this and they are 13 years and under, then they're going to be able to run a center fire rifle. That's going to be your 17 HMRs and your 22s. That's only if your child is under 13 years old. If your child is over 13 years old, they're still going to have to run a center fire rifle. However, your child being 13 years old, they will have a five shot group at 50 yards. 50 yards, guys, for your child at, that's 13 years and under. So, 50 yards for them, it's going to be a five shot group, and they're going to have two minutes to do it. So, the adults, you are still competing for the 3D printed Baby Yoda. However, your child is going to be competing for the 3D printed group. So that'll go to the child. The group will go to the child and the 3D printed Baby Yoda will go to the adult. So this is a big thing in the PRS world, the NRL world, and the National 3-Gun world. We want to get our younger generations involved and how do we get them involved? We include them. So this is me including your child into this. So I want to see you guys post these videos with you and your child out here doing this. I want to see it. The same rules apply as 
did previously. I still need to see you hang the target. And then if your child is under 13, I need to see you hang it at 50 yards. I need to see you walk back and I need to see their group. They will have two minutes, the adults. You have 45 seconds. Both are still five shot groups. We're gonna give our younger generation more time to do it. But if your child is over 13, then I'm sorry, they're gonna have to shoot a center fire rifle. But guys, I appreciate your time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's grow this channel. Let's keep it growing. We're almost there, guys. So I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your neighbors to like and subscribe. And let's compete in this 250-yard challenge. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.